Maryland sees a slight uptick in new coronavirus cases. In the last 24 hours, more than 900 new cases were reported. Despite that, hospitalizations are dipping and the positivity rate remains mostly flat. Hello again, I'm Lynn Bowie. And I'm Tim Williams. The steadying numbers come as today marks the one-year date since Maryland first contracted, first Marylanders contracted COVID-19. Now, last year on March 5th, three Montgomery County residents became the first Marylanders to test positive for the virus. They contracted it on an Egyptian cruise. To commemorate the one-year mark, Maryland flags are lowered to half-staff and buildings across the state will be lit up in amber tonight. Also, there will be a twilight ceremony at the State House this evening. Meantime, the state unveils a new task force to address vaccine equity concerns. Yesterday, though, during a news conference, Governor Larry Hogan made allegations against Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott. The governor claims the city refused to accept $9 million in COVID relief funding, but Mayor Scott says the city is applying for that money directly through FEMA. I'm not going to get into the political back and forth. I know the the mayor is frustrated and receiving a lot of criticism. He tries to point the finger and blame it on us. Neither I nor any of the ever-growing num number of government leaders from across this state are pointing the finger at the governor. We're simply asking him to do what governors do, lead. The governor also says the city requested vaccine doses be transferred away from the city's health department to other providers. Mayor Scott says the city is relying on hospitals to help vaccinate older adults who could not navigate the online registration system. In about an hour, Governor Larry Hogan will begin touring a new Southern Maryland mass vaccination site. It's located at Regency Furniture Stadium in Waldorf. We will bring you more from the governor's visit this afternoon starting at 4 o'clock.